Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 428. Lateral corticospinal tract. What is the function of the lateral corticospinal tract? The function of the lateral corticospinal tract is to provide descending voluntary movement of the contralateral limbs. Describe the lateral corticospinal tract pathway. To learn about the lateral corticospinal tract pathway, we have to first of all look at this picture here. In this picture, there's a lot of things going on, uh, but this is a descending pathway. So what you're getting is uh, there is going to be neurons going from the motor area of the cortex all the way down to the spinal cord. And from the spinal cord, it becomes the lower motor neurons, and this will uh, attach to the muscle at the neuromuscular junction. So let's talk about this. So from here is the starting of the upper motor neurons. So you have the cell body of, in uh, primary motor cortex. So there is cell bodies of all sorts of different things, such as the trunk, the legs, and the arm. So you have the primary motor cortex, the cell body in primary motor cortex. This descends ipsilaterally. So as you can see here, there is ipsilateral descension, and this is going to descend ipsilaterally through the internal capsule until, uh, until it finally gets down to this point where it's going to, until it uh, decusating at the quadral medulla. So at this point, uh, it's going to be the pyramidal decusation. And so as you can see, that's what's happening here. It's going down, and it's going to then descend contralaterally. So after the you know decusation of the pyramids uh, is what's happening here. It's going to descend contralaterally until finally it reaches its first synapse. And that synapse is going to be at the cell body of the anterior horn of the spinal cord, as you can see uh, right here in the picture. So this is the first synapse, and so this is the first uh, order neuron, and this is the upper motor neurons. From this point on, there is going to be lower motor neurons, and this is where uh, the neurons leave the spinal cord. Eventually, it will synapse with uh, muscles at the neuromuscular junction. So that is the lower motor neurons. So this is the corticospinal tract. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.